Last time we used a pattern that had built-in jump stitches and I was asked if that could be changed. The designer designed that pattern with the jump stitches. I don't like jump stitches, especially when I'm using contrasting thread because it's, there's a lot of build up there at the back stitching and sometimes they don't match up nicely as you saw on my little quilt. So I actually prefer to do stop to cut threads and I'll show you how to change a pattern with jump stitches so that you can do stop to cut threads. So we'll start at the main menu, design sew quilt, start new, continue, uh, block pattern, enter rectangle manually with 10, height 10, continue. It doesn't matter uh, what size block, we're just doing some design work. So I'm going to go finished, and here is the pattern we used last time, CQ Feather Square 7. Let's see if I can remember that name. IQ's put it in the block, and you can see the green lines show where the jump stitches come. I don't want those jump stitches, so I'm going to split them out. So I'm going to hit finished here. Here's the button I want, split patterns. Now in order to, to split this up and get rid of the jump stitches, all I have to do is touch somewhere along that green line. It says touch the desired splitting point on a pattern and touch split. I don't need to try and touch at one end of the line. I can just touch anywhere along that green line. And now you can see part of the pattern is green, part is red. It's telling me it, where it's going to split. You can see the target there. That's where it's going to split when I hit split. The green line has gone. I see another green line, let's touch that. I'm going to hit split. It's gone. I see another green line, let's touch that. Split. So now those patterns are all separate. They're not no longer combined. Uh, so now I have to combine them again so that it keeps them all together and makes it into one pattern. So I'm going to hit combine patterns, select the first pattern to combine and I'm going to choose the outside one because I discovered that's like doing stitch in the ditch, it really stabilizes the block. So that's the first one I want to do. Continue, select the next pattern to combine, I'm going to choose the feathered wreath. Continue, but now I get these choices because it needs to know what it's going to do between the end of that first pattern and the start of the second one. I have three choices, the same three choices we have everywhere else. Continuous stitch lines, stop to cut threads, or automatic jump stitch. I want stop to cut threads. And I know I've chosen stop to cut threads because now I have a blue line on my pattern. All right, message says, select the next pattern to combine. That one, continue, stop to cut threads. Select the next pattern to combine, there's one more, this one continue, stop to cut threads. So now I have changed the transitions to cutting threads. So now when IQ has stitched that outside part, it'll stop, it'll beep, it'll wait for me to cut the threads before it carries on. So I can leave tails long enough to stitch in. One last step, I have to save this pattern. So hitting finished, finished, finished. Here it is, save quilt pattern. Save a pattern from the quilt, this is the pattern I want to save. IQ's giving it a new name, new pattern. I'm going to clear that out. And I'm remembering this was called CQ Feathers Square 7, I think. So we will call it CQ space feather space square space 7 but I will add modified, or just mod for modified. Enter. It's going to go into, let's put it in feather blocks just for now. Feather blocks, feather block. So now I've got it saved. Now, the other one is still there. Because I changed the name for this one, it didn't overwrite the other one. If I had made this, the name of this one exactly the same as the other, I would have got a pop-up window that said, do you want to overwrite the other pattern with the same name? At which point I could have said no, backed out and changed the name. Um, I saved this one with the jump stitches under a different name, so I still have the other one, this one with the transition of continuous, uh, stop to cut thread, sorry. 
with a new name so that I still have the one with the jump stitches. Okay, if you have any questions just email me and I'll be happy to answer them.